Hi, my name is Mike Chappelle, uh, Chappelle Equine Service. Anyway, we've got a client's horse here that we're going to try to get in the trailer for the first, well, not the first time, but he's been giving the owner some grief getting in. Uh, just uh, This will help you if you're uh, trying to get your own horse in and you're having trouble loading them uh, all the time. Uh, just go through this process and it'll help. So the process of this is don't try to put him in the trailer. I mean, because you know he's not going to go in. So we're going to do a little work away from the trailer and then go towards the trailer and work, work away from the trailer and rest at the trailer. Okay, so where we're at now is uh, we've worked him away. We let him rest right here. Uh, just stay here for a minute. Don't let him in the trailer if they even want to go in it. Um, so when we go let him rest right here, we're just going to make this a good spot. We're not very close to the trailer, as you see. So we're going to go back away from the trailer on purpose. It has to be your idea to walk away from the trailer with the horse. The horse can't want to leave. It's got to be your idea. So you're going to leave the trailer even as close as you are right here. The next time he should go a little bit closer and you're just going to keep increasing that. And then when you're going around the circle, kind of time your lineup to the trailer. And if he just comes to the back of the door, that's great. Just stop right there, let him rest, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we just left the trailer and we're back over here away from it and we're going to go back to doing some work. We're going to work a little bit till we get huffing and puffing. Do some lefts and rights. Just go left, go right, and then we'll let him get closer and closer to the trailer. We'll see how close we can get and we'll let him rest again. So just go on around. Hang on to the rope so you don't wind up getting kicked because you can get kicked pretty easy. All right, so I'm going to start going towards the trailer. All right, I asked him to walk up the trailer a little bit more, get him a little bit closer, do not let him in. Um, he might smell the floor, paw it, or whatever. If not, that's fine, it's his choice. But you just keep doing this, and now I'm gonna let him rest right here a minute, and then I'm gonna take him away from here and go back to work again. And I'm just gonna exercise him away, bring him back up here, ask him to come up here, and maybe even urge him to step up. And if he doesn't do it, then I'm gonna leave, let him rest again and go back and do it again. Problem horses that won't load. You do this a few times and they'll quit. They'll quit that. They'll quit that because there's a consequence of them not loading. It's a lot easier to go in the trailer and rest. Maybe there's hay in there. I don't know. But um, they, they realize pretty quick that it's easier in there. And uh, they'll quit messing with you out here. Okay, so here's the, the first part of it. You know, I kind of urged him on, he stepped up in there. I don't want him going in. So I just let him put his front feet up there, rub him, let him know this is a good spot to be. He smelt the floor, just like I said. And uh, so you're gonna go back to doing it again. Work away from the trailer, come back up here. And he might do this a few more times, like part way in here, and then I'll urge him on, he'll go in. Generally, what happens is, is they don't want to come back out because they know that work's gonna happen. So they'd just soon be in there. All right. Okay, the longer you can let them sit in here, the better. Um, even like this, just one foot up. Let them breathe out in here, and then it's got to be your idea to leave the trailer again, go back to work. And uh, they'll get the, get the just of it after a bit. It, it takes patience. It's, it takes a bit. And you got to stick with it, because if you quit anywhere in this process, then they go, you know what, I just won and I don't have to get in the trailer. So I'm going to ask him to get in the trailer and if he doesn't do it, we're going to go back and do some more work. 
So just tap him a little bit and say, get up. Come on. Yep. Come on. Takes his foot out, then I'll go back to work. seeing here is him wanting to go in but not wanting to come out he's kind of stuck right here and that's his mind saying I don't want to get out of the trailer I, I'm in the trailer I don't want to get out of it because I know work's gonna happen so he's reluctant on just firing out there coming out so he's gonna stand here for a bit again and I'm gonna ask him to move back forward if he doesn't go in then I'll go back and do some more work so all right, so let him stand and let him rest in there. Okay, so he's in the trailer and I don't want him to come out, but if he was to blow out of there on his own, then what I would do is just let him come out and I would go back to work away from the trailer and then come back up here and do it again. As you can see, he doesn't want to come out of the trailer um, and he's just in there breathing hard and then he's like, I like it in here. So I'm just gonna rob him and let him know, hey, this is a good spot. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna make him get out myself and I'm gonna put him back to work and then I'm gonna go back in. Okay, so we did our work away. We went in the trailer, let him rest, part way in, whatever it works. Just let them take their time there. It's gotta be your idea to leave. And then once you get them in the trailer, they don't wanna come out because they are like, wow, I don't wanna go out there, it's a lot of work. Do it anyway, back them out, go to work. And I'll tell you what, Next thing you know, they're loading. They ain't going to mess with you no more because they know that there's a consequence to them not loading. Uh, so just be real careful when you're handling the rope around there on the corners, like coming in the trailer and stuff, that they, if you got a kicking horse, that he doesn't reach out and kick you. So anyway, we'll go through this again, uh, see if he'll load up this time, and then we'll be all done. So thanks for watching and like and subscribe and hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I know a lot of times people get in a real pickle. They can't get their horse in the trailer and it takes a lot of time. So do this and you won't have to be fighting with it.